What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Column Tyrrell Podcast. One of the last uh, episodes in this studio. Right now, it's pretty quiet. There is a gap going on in the construction next door. It'll probably start back any time now because it's the lunchtime, which pretty much means over the last uh, few months, I haven't been able to record here. There's construction going on next door. You probably know if you're listening to the episodes. If not, go listen to the old episodes. Catch up. Uh, but there's a crazy construction next door. They're demolishing the foundation of an old building and it, I can't use the uh, space. So um, at the end of the month is when the lease is up. So then I'm going to just um, downsize this whole operation. I going to try figure out something, either get some, something smaller, something out near Queens, or I'm going to try record a few episodes out uh, of my apartment. Now, as I'm not going to have the overheads of the rent anymore, I've decided to lower the cost of the Patreon for a time being. It's, you know, Black Friday sale, whatever it is. Right now, you can go over to patreon.com slash and you can get all the back catalog and all future episodes for a dollar a month. Not only that, there's a seven-day free trial, and better still, but you can sign up for the year at a discount for ten dollars and eight cents. So there's a fucking we started last week. There's like two hundred people already joined the um, the new tier. So come on over there. I know it's not easy. Time's tough. Everyone is butt fucking me. <laughs> butt fucking is funny. I don't think I've ever said that word. Um. Everyone's buff fucking you. Left, right, and center. There's just costs here and there. It's the holidays. But look, head over there, 1008, get the year. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be there forever. We're gonna cap it. So whoever's the original OGs, the gangsters that will get in there will be able to get all the future um stuff. So and every week from the Patreon. I've got a bunch of back catalog stuff, but also you get an extra episode, which is, it's just, it's audio only, but it's just me. And uh, it's more like a diary of my opinions about whatever's on in the world and what I've done that week. So um, I like doing that a lot and I I like the audio episodes a lot. So head off to patreon.com slash column tarot, get a dollar a month, join right now, have fun um, or whatever, you know? Um, I think you should do it. If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, $10 is not a lot. For a whole year, for a whole year, that's just just ten dollars, and then that's it. No more subscriptions, no more nothing. Sure, it's an annual subscription, but that's it. It's a it's tenner, a tenner for the year. If you saw me, and I asked you for a tenner, you might give me a tenner, right? Ten oh eight. Yeah. So we got Louis Louis Katz on the episode today, folks. Check out his uh, new special. It's he's crushing it. It's called uh, Past Tense, but on YouTube the t- the, the the thumbnail says. And um, the greatest comedian you've never heard of. And it's, it's really blowing up. Louis uh, has been around for years. Um, everyone thinks he's a legend. And he he opens for um, David Tell a lot. Also, I've got dates coming out. The fucking gicker. Um, 2024 is going to be packed. Still some dates for the rest of this year. New- Newark, Ohio, December 16th. Toronto, Canada, December 29th to 31st. That's New Year's Eve, folks. Then I'm going down for the first ever Sunshine Comedy Fest in Tampa, Florida. That's January 11th to 14th. Use the promo code COLUM or COLLIE. You'll get a, a discount. I don't know what it is. And I don't know what the promo code is either. But just if I'll post it somewhere but or message me. But you get a discount. So if you're in Tampa or the St. Pete area, come on down. That's going to be sick. Gardini's on it. Tim Butterly's on it. Um, Jordan Jensen's going to be there Ian Finance is going to be there Troy Bond is going to be There's loads of people heading down there That's going to be fucking sick Just announced Indianapolis uh, January 19th and 20th If you're in that region Come on out We need to sell that out They didn't want to give me the dates Because they didn't think I could sell any tickets And I promised them I swore on my mother's life That I would sell this out So My mother's going to die <laughs> You ain't, we ain't selling that out at all. I don't know why I was so... I got into the negotiations and I and I got a little bit br- brazen. Um, a little bit brash. I said, oh, you think, give me the main room, I'll sell it out. And then I walked out of there going, what am I doing? What? <laughs> well, what you got to do? Fortune favors the brave, you know what I mean? 
You know, you got to take risks. Cheshire, Connecticut, South Glastonbury, Connecticut in January, Key West, Florida, February. Loads more dates. ColumnTyrrell.com for all those dates. If you want to see me in a town near you next year in a town or city, just go over to ColumnTyrrell.com. There's a little thing you fill out. You just write in your name and tell me the city or the town where you are internationally, and we do it. So um, don't forget, head off to Patreon.com. We just put up a few episodes this week. Uh, you'll love it for a fuck a dollar. A dolly? A month. A month. If you can't afford that, things are tough. If you can't afford a dollar. I don't want to fucking criticize you here, but if you can't, I don't know if I... I don't know if I want you here. I do. I do. I do. Everyone everyone goes through shit, you know. Yeah, I changed my mind. If you, if you can't afford a dollar, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're going through that. But most of you can. Sign up for Patreon.com. There's not many other dollar fucking t- places you can go. Um, Matt and Shane, you're gone. War Mode, you're gone. Stuff Island, gone. Are You Garbage, never had it. Tim didn't, never had it. No one's ever had the dollar tier. It's only me and dad meet. They're the only people left with the dollar tier. Everyone else has a nada. All right. Enjoy the episode. Don't forget, check out Louis Katz, his new special, or go, and go see him on the road. All right. Now we're in, folks. <laughs> Louis Katz. Yes. Louis, not Louis. Not, no, it's spelled with an S. It's confusing. It's my parents' fault. Is it? Like, is it, like this is a common? Is oh, very common. Yes. Everyone mispronounces it, says Louis. But it's Louis. It's pronounced Louis, like King Louis, Louis Armstrong. There's plenty of precedent. King Louis, yeah. People still yes. get it wrong, you know. People still get it wrong. King Louis is that something? Is that something good to be associated with King Louis? Like, do you feel like regal? Huh? I feel pretty regal. You know, regal. It's so yeah. Regal is what? Just sort of like more chicken legs or more yeah, turkey more, legs. Yes. I think better than chicken legs. Yeah, at least turkey, turkey legs. legs. Yeah, turkey is it? legs. Come on, chicken I, legs. I would more chicken legs. Dream, dream big. You're, you're the king. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, more French fries. <laughs> <laughs> he is French, so that makes sense. Yes, uh, true. Um, what I couldn't even guess what the timeline King Louis was. Do you? Yeah, I know. King, you, like King Louis the Fort, like King, King Louis is like the big, all the gardens, like the the height of uh, right before the revolution when he's like. Oh, he was the, one of the final guys. Wasn't yeah, he? he's like the big, the big monarch, the sun king, and he has the he all the you know Versailles. He builds all those beautiful gardens, yeah, beautiful okay. palaces. Okay, and then two Louis later, they're like, oh, "Fuck this, uh, it's too much." And oh, so then, he was the he was the absolute most. Yes, when people say King Louis, they mean him. And what year was that then? Uh, I'm going to say that is the 1600s. 1600s. That's what okay. I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> going to say it. Everyone in the comments say he's wrong. <laughs> he's an idiot. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Give me those glasses. You're not smart. I'm, I'm still like Paul Potts. Um, yeah, but King Louis, but I, I would almost, maybe I'm crazy, but I would assume even a, a, a king or a lord's 1600s like feast, it's not as good as our modern day. Like I think a sandwich from a from a from a shop is probably tasting better in today's standards than a turkey from the 1600s. Well, what you're not considering when you talk about the 1600s is the smell. No one has bathed. Every, there's no yes. everyone shitting everywhere. It's yes. disgusting. Like you can look up. I've looked up stories where they had to kick out. <laughs> I looked this up because I was interested in it. The smells. Okay. This, I, I'm really into smells. So I, I, I did some. <laughs> You're not into smells. I, I'm into smells. <laughs> and so I swear I am. No I'm into smells. Into smells. So I, I, I was part of it. Man, it must have stunk back in the past. Yeah. I think someone's done this in a, in a, in a sketch before. That's why I haven't talked about it on stage because someone else has done it. But I did worry. Interest, I was interested on my own about past smells. And apparently, like. You know they travel with these huge royal parties when they're when a the royal person was traveling around. Yeah, and one of them they just hung out at one castle too long, and it was, they were just like, "It fucking stinks! <laughs> You're shitting everywhere! Everyone's fucking everybody! No one's showering! This is disgusting!" And they had to kick them out because it smelled so bad. Oh my god! They yeah. have to like fuck. They have to they, they kick the kings out of the. the they kick the royal party. You know they the got a lot of hangers got, yeah. on. They're just fucking and eating the even, turkey even, chicken legs. You know? Even New York, to recently, it was like. New York yeah. smells too. New York, but it's bad now. But a hundred years ago, it was insane. Oh yeah, sure. Like everyone was just sh- they just had like outhouse shits. Yeah, like, yeah. People just were shitting, shitting in the streets. I mean, yeah. It's like yeah. the amount of time that the, that the world has been not so smelly is very brief. And when yeah. you look at the big we, we are blessed. Yes, we are. Yes. We are weak. We yeah. Have, yeah, we are weak people. We've got a weak because it's, it's like people are like oh, I'd love to go back in time. Yeah, <laughs> you, like 
You five minutes in the sixties, you're like, Jesus. Yeah, the Christ. funk is strong. Yeah, I mean, it's dude, even just yesterday, funk. I'm going downstairs in the L train, and it's like I got It's like fighting a smell to get down the stairs. Like I'm like, ah, I can't do it. And it, it was like, I, know. I still, but I, like I said, I like the smell, so I kind of like, I love how strong and pungent it is. You know, I'm just like, oh, this is so powerful. Oh, uh, like you can appreciate the intensity of a disgusting smell. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a good wrong note or something like like a horror movie or something you're like oh yeah. it's so bad it's like so, yes. so strong you know it's like yeah. yeah 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 yeah. it's like a cult leader it's almost impressive yes. right it's yes. like what i don't agree but like good for you organizing all that yes. stuff you yes know? exactly yes it's impressive want- it's wrong but it's impressive it's you know? yeah, right. yeah 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 i always say that i went I, I, when i was in poland i visited auschwitz and yes. not enjoyable but certainly a very not a good day out but certainly like a really stimulating day out <laughs> sure, yeah it might be bad sure yeah. you know what i mean but like it's not we're not having fun but it was a it is one of the best tourism i've ever done <laughs> in terms of like memorable well, it's, it's weird because you go there in the spring and it's so well kept yeah that you're like, it kind of like it's like a summer camp it's like mm. no you don't understand it's not one person to a bunk it's five you know <laughs> what i mean and like that's not a campfire over there you know it's like it's uh you're like oh my god so much room to walk yeah, around yeah yeah, yeah. And so it, much things to look at yeah but yeah. it's also i mean that's that's the thing about germans like germans aren't evil Everyone genocides, and the Germans are just like really good at everything they do. So yeah. when it was their turn to genocide, they fucking knocked it out. I mean, they did a, a phenomenal job. Yeah, they did. They really, <laughs> yeah, they As did a, a Jew, phenomenal. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in terms of the yeah. logistics, I don't know if that's good or bad these days. The but logistics you know of it. Yeah, yeah, from, yes. yeah. Especially yes. the uh, the the Auschwitz was the one. There was a lot of other death camps, but they yeah, were a, they were It's a death no. factory. It's a factory death, of death. yeah. There was yeah. other ones when then they were shooting people and they ran out. They, like it was too much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. What what wonder what would have happened now? Say, let's say the Germans won, mm-hmm. the Nazis won. All right, I'm there, picturing it. You reckon the Japanese would have taken on the, all of the other, um, what is it, the Allied forces? Yeah, uh, would have. Do you reckon they all would have taken on their own sort of version of a concentration camp? Then, like the Japanese would have had some sort of a Chinese concentration camp type of scenario. I, mean, I, I don't know all the stuff that the Japanese did, but apparently they were crazy brutal. Like they were crazy, nuts. Yeah, crazy, crazy Wacky. brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know about it. I should actually learn more about it now. I'm like on a big history. I'm reading like two history books at a time now. Oh, it's yeah. Not, it's like, I don't normally do that. I just oh. started one and then I got really interested in another and I'm, yes. not, I'm not like that much of a history buff, but like that shit blows my mind. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I was just in Japan. And I, oh, why you? I, I, yeah, I went there for my honeymoon and I was like, oh, nice. um, I was like, I don't know, Germany. I think this is the superior race. Like these people yeah. are amazing. There, that country is amazing. I, yeah, I'd love to go. It's yeah, so yeah. nice. Everything so clean. Everything runs so well. I mean, it's definitely. I think you can also tell though when you go to a place that was fascist because they they love rules. Like they y- they love yeah. the they they like they yeah. follow them. They like, dude. I've been to libraries that were louder than their packed subways at rush hour. Nobody talks. Really? Nobody wow. talks. They don't make a sound. So on you, the train. when you're on the train, it's not going to be showtime, showtime, <laughs> showtime. <laughs> bunch <Yeah>. of <laughs> dude. So they but, would, they would have, a, they would flip out. I mean, yeah. like, we were. I was whispering to my wife, and someone moved away from us. Like this is this. <gasps> oh, is you rude. obnoxious white yeah, asshole! Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, exactly. I'm, dude, Am I'm I? You are. <laughs> yeah. You're being a big fucking white prick. I, I was. I you're was. ruining their commute to wherever they're yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, totally. So I mean, like, wow. it just. Um, Where was that? Tokyo? You said I was in. I was in Tokyo. I was in um, uh, where was I? Uh, Osaka, Kyoto. That's where I was, was mostly. But Kyoto. this is everywhere with the train. They the don't K- talk Kyoto the Dragon. Is that the right? What, what Kyoto what? Dragon? I don't know. It's, it sounds Asian-y. If, if that's what you're going for, I don't know. What's a Kyoto Dragon? I believe there's a Kyoto Dragon, like an animal. It's almost like a no, lizard. dude. Komodo Dragon. Komodo Dragon. Sorry. Total yes. Other, other part of the world. <laughs> really? Yes. Damn. I thought. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe it's not. I thought is a Komodo Dragon. They're on some islands. I don't know even know what they are. I think they're like they're like big lizards. Or they something. are giant lizards. Gigantic. Maybe they are in Asia, but they're not in Japan. They're not in Japan. <laughs> the, the legend. <laughs> yes, no. That's I there was one once, and then they were really com- cause of havoc. No, they wear they wear kimonos, and okay. there's a komodo dragon, and they are not related. The komodo and the, and the komodo. place you went to was called Kyoto or something. <laughs> yes. Kyoto. Kyoto. I'm so sorry. You're so. Um, I've never been. <laughs> no, no. I bet you I can say Lao better than you. What? I don't even know what you said. Lao. It's a, it's a country. Oh, Laos. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot sure. of people call it, say Laos. I like would your call name. It, I would call it Laos. Yes. My so. name is not Laos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So you went to Tokyo. Was there a? F- 
I'd love to go. It's m- awesome. M- m- millions and millions of people, right? Yes. H- high, yes. high as shit, or is it similar to New York? Um, I think it's less dense than New York, but more people. So it's like some of it. We we somehow we managed to like because of where we're staying, we like moved around. We're like, I'm surprised the buildings aren't taller here. And then we then we got into the parts that are really like taller buildings. It's just not as many high rises as they have in Manhattan. But there's a ton of people and it's just a huge city. And kind of like New York, there's like so many little cuts to explore that you'll never see at all. Yeah. And, the, and the really cool thing there is that similar to New York also is that we, you know, New York has all these like tiny bars and tiny restaurants. Dude, they have these bars. They're called like record bars. And I'm, I was telling you before we started, I'm a big music head. Yeah. Basically what it is, it's a bar for maybe six to 10 people tops, maybe 12 tops. No one else could fit. Okay. And in the bar, the bartender, it's their bar. They own the bar. They're the bartender and they have their entire music collection. And they just kind of DJ for you and serve up drinks and cook food at the same time. So you're there. They're kind of showing off their their taste of music. I, I thought it was so cool. I went to a Brazilian nice. bar. Dude spoke like perfect Portuguese just from Brazilians who came in to visit him. Oh, wow. There. He's cooking Brazilian food. He's a Japanese guy. He's yeah. got a wall full of Brazilian records. I mean, it's incredible, you know? Yeah, I'd love to go. And you went there for your honeymoon? Yeah. Great. Was there a feeling, though, Tokyo is almost like the New York where you're kind of like, yeah, this is a nice place to visit, but it's like kind of fucking dirty or no? No. No, well, it's, it's incredibly clean, dude. Yeah. The so crazy- there's, there's not even a similarity to New Yorker. There is in the in this the um the amount of people mm. and uh like I said, all the so many different areas where you could hang out and that are cool yeah. and like so many things to see. But it just seemed like it just seemed just just better better done to I mean so, to some extent the chaos and craziness of New York is part of it. Mm-hmm. It has it has like a an it has that because there's so many people there, but not at the same level of like literal and figurative craziness that New York has, like insane people. And like, all right, it's all right. So I don't need to be totally quiet on the train, but it's sometimes it's nice when you like get off the train and there's a jazz band playing right there. I think that's cool. You know what I mean? I like a little bit of the mess that is New York. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I agree. I went to Sweden was very quiet, uh, at least Stockholm was mm-hmm. very quiet. Like, you, but it's like, it comes across if you're not from there, like almost rude nearly, you know? It's like, yeah, they're being like, like cold. Like they're yeah, cold. cold. They are cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. Japanese people were so nice. Yeah. And that was a cool thing. It was like, it's the, like, apparently the word for honeymoon, they just use the American, they use English, they call it honeymoon. Yeah. So even if they didn't speak well English, we good, in, uh, very, they didn't speak English well. Sorry. <laughs> like I don't. Uh, <laughs> Racist. I would, yeah. We would say, we would say, uh, Oh, we're on our honeymoon, and they go honeymoon. They'd be so yeah, into yeah. it. They were so happy that we were there for our honeymoon, <laughs> and uh, they were so friendly. We had like I was like trying to find a place to eat, and things were closed. A guy saw us. He was at a restaurant. They they served him. He was the last person that got served. He comes out, helps us find another restaurant. Oh I mean, wow! Just so nice, just the friendliest people. Wow, yeah, I'd love to go. I I, I remember Glenn Wall. Do you know Glenn Wall? Canadian? Yeah, sure. Canadian. I don't know him personally, but I yeah, know. yeah. Uh, but he, I was, yeah, I was listening to his podcast one time. He's talking about like he, was, he used to travel all over the world for years. You know, he had an incredible story of like he got the, he was living in Canadian comedian living in England, yeah. married, him and his wife divorced. He had a bunch of road dates set up. He sort of rang around and was able, was like, all right, I'm moving out of the house. I've got the next three months of work. Let's see if I can fill all the gaps in between. Wow. So I just keep getting, and then the three months turned into six months to a year. And then he started doing festivals everywhere. And then it was like wow. five years. He just traveled. That's crazy. Yeah. And he just never really, never had a fixed address. Just kept doing just all the time. I met him. It was like, it was interesting when we were doing festival together because he had, he, Everything he had was all packed together. He had this little suitcase. He was like really organized. And when, wow. when we went into like 7-Eleven, he was like buying like weird, like, I guess it's not that weird, but it was like yogurts and stuff. And you could be like, oh, he, this guy sort of knows because he's just. He, well, it's like, I mean, I buy I buy yogurts. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it means you're weird. You can't. You can't <laughs> what'd you say? It means you're weird. Yeah, buying yogurt. weird. I'm a, I'm a yogurt. <laughs> it's like, you can't, you can't, you can't say, well, I'm traveling. If you're traveling, like, oh, I'm not breaking my, I'm breaking the rules when I travel. If you're always traveling. Yeah, you, have, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You yeah, have to that's like. That's your life. That yeah, is, you yeah. have to reel it in a little bit because yeah. it's just every, all the time. But that sounds awesome. It yeah. sounds r- romantic in a way, traveling constantly, but I, I do know myself. It yeah, it's wear on you, right? Would, yeah. Yeah. Just even. If I could do 10, sometimes I'll do like, you know, 10 days on the road or yeah. something like that. You know, back to back. It's like nightmare. Yeah. It's, I've, I do, I still do a lot of runs like that. And it's like, uh, it's like a bit much. You just want to get home. Like yeah. At some point, you yeah. want to have a place that's just like home, especially if you're, and, and the thing about the road is, I mean, I don't know how good his gigs were paying, but it's like, 
how many of those hotels are nice hotels? You know what I mean? Yeah, like sometimes yeah, those yeah. hotels are like, it's not not really a nice place you want to chill. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, I but, guess. Well, I guess well, for us, because we're used to going, oh, I need to get back to, like, I need this to be finished so I can get back to the normal. If that is the normal, maybe it's a little bit easier for you to be like, oh, no, this is the... Yeah. This is the, the constant, yeah. Yeah, I could see that, but I could see it getting lonely. I could see him like... Uh, you know, that's where you start doing that weird road shit where you're like chatting up everyone you see because you're so alone. You're like, hey, how's it going? Like, what's what's yeah, new yeah, with you, yeah, person yeah, yeah. at the front desk? You know, and it's, it's <laughs> like, you know, and, and you're kind of friendly, but it's kind of like, ah, it's a bit much. You know, you can get just lonely out there. I don't know. Yeah, yeah just and, too, too many one night stands. Good to fucking ruin oh, it. Yeah, I hate, oh, yeah. Oh, the my, sex. Are you Ugh. kidding me? Boo. Just uh, no strings attached. Who wants it? Ugh. <laughs> Banging girls out of your league because you just did a comedy show. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a horror show oh it's just, just <laughs> one one in every port oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. be hard with the, yeah him and um tom rhodes was another one yeah tom it, rhodes did it too like they the internationally yeah. international road dogs yeah. and i've i've done some touring internationally but i gotta tell you man i don't i don't every time i do it i'm like i shouldn't do this anymore i like it. it's fun and I, I i'm excited to do i still haven't done countries where english is their native language <laughs> i only oh. done i've done like uh continental europe yeah i've done shows in china and i've done our uh you know uso stuff army bases but like man when it's like uh european countries and you know europe has because they're european union there's all kinds of different europeans in a given city mm -hmm. I don't know, have you toured a lot continental europe or not really i've done a lot of sort of sh yeah i've done some shows around the places um, i just find that they're like there's like there's there's fluent in English and yeah. then there's comedy English and they don't speak oh, fucking comedy English. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. touring and touring in these places. It's just a, it's a, over time. I, I dumb down my acts yes. until it's the most simplest of jokes. Course. Yeah. And I'm throwing out all the jokes that I love. Or yeah. Those are all gone. Yeah. And it's not really enjoyable for me. I mean, I, I do like, that. I, I do that know. in America. <laughs> 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 I do that when they speak the English. I'm like, oh, that's the, they're not going to like that one. But yeah. So, um, I've been, I've been to a lot of places. Sweden, is different because um, Sweden, as far as I know, they don't have their own TV stations or something, or at least they never invested in their own like, like major BBC or something yeah. Like that. So okay. all of their TVs always been in English. So so they're oh, all okay. they're all kind of raised almost bilingual because of the TV. Well, I'm just trying to remember. Well, even yeah, but that's the thing is probably the best English uh, in continental Europe is the Scandinavian countries. Yeah. And all right, they speak English, but they feel no emotions. Yeah. So then they're not they're laughing. Too... So they they get it. They're just staring at you because yeah. they don't feel things. Yeah. You know, I've, and that's I've, not fun either. I've, have you done Denmark? I've uh, heard Denmark is the absolute like. I'm trying to th have I. I think it's somewhere. Not, no, <laughs> this is I've, sound ignorant. Where's Amsterdam? Is that Denmark? No, that's um, the Netherlands. Yeah, that shit's confusing to me. It's Netherlands, but they're the Dutch, but it's something else. It's very that, well. Holland that part, is I get very Holland is about. like it was. It, people called it Holland forever, but Holland is a region within the Netherlands. But for some reason, that people called it that for a long time. But it's like you're not supposed to. I get confused Netherlands is kind of like stuff. sorry. Holland is like saying. You know, New England instead of America or something. Like okay, that. you know okay. what I mean. So Holland, well, is Copenhagen is in Denmark. Okay, I've been in Co Copenhagen, but it was just a jump off to okay. get to some Swedish shows <laughs> because it was cheaper to fly into Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or maybe yeah. that was the region of Sweden where I was touring. So I flew into Copenhagen, yeah. had a day by myself. It was nice. Well, I don't, I don't think they're connected. So you would have had to fly to, from one to your yeah. really Denmark or Sweden. I don't think are connected, unless it's a boat or a, dr a big bridge across because they're like different. I don't know, man. Everybody in the comments, tell us we're idiots. Tell I us we're idiots. I spent a day in, in uh, was it Sweden? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Sweden. I spent a day in uh, in, in Dem Copenhagen because they have the they have the first uh, amusement park there. So you can go right on like, it's the first amusement park ever. From like what, the fucking 1800s? Like I don't know, man. It's ancient. Oh my God. And then they have like a park where you can like, where weed was legal before weed was legal everywhere. And it's like a place where you can buy weed, but it's kind Ooh. of legal, but not really legal. Yeah. And uh, and then like, uh, I rode a bike around. I mean, I had, a, I had a nice day there just on my own waiting for this this run to start. I did a, uh, this by Martin Sonesby or something like that. I'm, so, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, Martin. It's been a long time. That's he fine. like, he like booked this whole run for me like early when no one, booked runs for people like, yeah 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 like, like 20 probably 12 and and, and yeah uh, it's not and, like yeah. it is now yeah. yeah and uh and uh he hooked it all up so it was it was really nice but he wasn't sure if it would if it would happen but yeah i'm pretty sure that was there i just can't remember yeah but know. i've i've here i've never done denmark i've done sweden germany poland 
there's some other places up with whatever but the Denmark, the Denmark is the one I've I've been told is like the notoriously <laughs> they just stare at you oh, oh that's they will just okay. stare at you for the whole show and then at the very end of the show they go that was so good that's so <laughs> like weird they, and, and then people are bombing going please please give me something <laughs> oh, it, just, it just fucks with your timing it's so it's so unnatural I mean uh, I've also I've done Amsterdam where it was a little like that last um, time I was in <clears throat> I did Norway twice Oh, nice. And both, the second time I'd say they, it was better. And I don't know if that was like, if I got better, if the times had changed or they'd gotten more used to comedy. I don't know, but it was definitely uh, better the second time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Maybe you just learned how to, to, to crack them open or maybe they were, well, I guess, better at it now. Because I know Jimmy Carr used to say he had a lot of random European fans because they would teach, they would- Teach with his comedy? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. As like, because if, if to, like you said, to understand the language- to be an expert in it, you got to understand the humor. Once yeah. you understand humor in a language, that's like you cracked it. So yeah. that's why they used to use him as homework and stuff. So he would have all these weird, like, oh, that's he would cool. have huge groups of like people, like people from uh, wherever, you know, Denmark coming to his shows and things like that. That's yeah. really cool. But um, we're wait, let's get some plugs in. Let's get some plugs in before everyone leaves. You know, they already left. I thought this was going well. No, it is going well. <laughs> but you know, these guys are busy. They all have ADHD. No one wants to listen to a conversation about us uh, re reminiscing about the joys of Europe or whatever <laughs> travel or broadening the mind. No, no, no. They all want tits. That's all they want. But I'm, I want tits. Yeah, everyone loves tits. At the right, end of yeah. the day, <laughs> uh, <laughs> history and tits. The history of tits. How about we can that, figure? Man. That's, I would go to, if that was a museum, I would go. The history uh, of tits? I would watch that documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it, this is the first tit. <laughs> I'd watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The history of tits. Pretty, but, um, so you have a special out right yes, now? Yes, I have a special. It just came out about a month ago. Um, it's on YouTube. It's called Present Tense. So please look that up. Check it out. Uh, I'd appreciate everyone watching it when you get a chance. And also, I don't, when does this come out? Does it come out soon? Tomorrow. Or? Tomorrow, yeah. great. Oh, okay, so then you can come see me in Austin at the Creek in the Cave uh, in a, in a couple weeks, the Woo! week bef weekend before Christmas uh, at the Creek in the Cave in Austin. Nice. And you can see me in Sacramento uh, mid January at the Sacramento Punchline. And then I'm also in January. I'm doing a night in uh, in the Irvine Improv. And then in February I'll be in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So look out for me there. And those are my g dates right now. So check me out. What did you say the name of the special was? Uh, present tense. Present tense. Why yeah. did I think it was called? Uh, um, because I, I, uh, least. Uh, so, so it's called present tense technically, but uh, the thumbnail. I I heard I didn't realize what I was doing by putting out a special on YouTube. Yeah, I just got the no from Netflix and was like, all right, it'll go okay. on YouTube. Yeah, and uh, I I realized the thumbnail is very important. Mm. So I put on the thumbnail. I put um the best comedian you've never heard of. Yeah, and uh, as clickbait to have uh to have people. Yeah, yeah. Like this guy thinks the best. Let me see and write yeah. a dumb comment and and it's worked. It's <laughs> worked great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's totally working. The only, the bad side is that uh, everyone like. The good side, mostly it's nice and a lot of people watch it. It's doing very well, but it's the bad side is people um, seem to feel the need to uh, 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 tell me what I could be doing better. Yeah. And I don't want to hear it. I know. I don't care. I know. <laughs> yeah. Look, guys, we love the fans. Support me on Patreon. Uh, but at the same time, we don't respect you at all. So sorry, <laughs> folks. It's just, it's just, it's just, just, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> to me, the same message of someone being like, you're great, you should be on Netflix, or someone else going, you stink, you should kill yourself. It's like the kind of the same group of, I'm well, going to let you all. No, all the good ones are great, and they're <clears throat> right, no, and all the bad no, ones all, are wrong. That's, all, what that's, that's what it is. <laughs> That's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, really you're right, you're right, right. Come on. The haters are jealous, <laughs> yeah. and then the, the other ones get it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. See? I'm glad we're on the same page with this. No, I did, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, thought, I just I don't know why I thought that was the name of the special, but I guess it's called... Because it's in huge writing on the thumbnail. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm glad it's working out for you, man. That's yeah, great, yeah. dude. Getting yeah. the people in there, getting the feedback. Yeah. So, some of the feedback though is fucking nuts, you know. You get online or whatever. It's someone, crazy someone, how long it is. They take take a lot of time to write a long. Statement yeah, that's also funny when they send you a huge big thing and you're like, D who do you? What are you? <laughs> it's a manifesto. This it's would be nuts if this was like someone like Bill Burr messaging me. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not reading all that. What yeah. are you talking Relax. about? Relax. I had, some, but you know, the problem is people get online and they get in their bubble. Someone messaged me or someone wrote a comment once and I did reply because it bugged me. They were like, eh, and. Anyone else notice that joke he stole from Shane Gillis? Whoa. And they said that. And I go, tell me exactly where and what you're talking about. Exactly. Uh -huh. Before I get mad, I said. Uh -huh. And then she then she replies going, I'm sorry. I thought I saw the joke. I think I saw you posted it on your Instagram. Wow. And I got confused. 
Yeah. And I'm sorry. I'm, she goes, I smoke too much weed. Sorry about that or something like that. That's and I was just like, I still want to kill you. I want to kill you more now. Right? Because like, no, no, I will actually listen. If someone goes, I've heard that joke before. I go, sure. I'd I want to know. Please and I, tell us. Yeah. Let me figure it out. You know what I mean? Because I did get that with some other stuff with like Jim Jeffries that I felt and I still feel is enough that there was a difference. But I can figure, I can see same topic, you know. Sure. I personally think it was my version of the topic, but I guess, you know, but that was just, I was like, let me know. And well, then that's crazy. No, it's crazy that, that to just flagrantly put that out there without checking first. Just go straight to the yeah, fucking juggler. Right, yeah, like, yeah. Eh, stole this from yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. But the, the other weird thing is that these comments, like people write them and they don't realize like we can, like most of the time when someone's been mean to me on there, I'll write back and they like, immediately like step it back a little bit yeah like, oh yeah, this yeah, is a yeah, human being yeah, i'm not just yeah. commenting about a product yeah this is a human being made this and i just said this to another human being and they could still be dicks because it's still the internet so they're not going to see me whatever but like yeah. usually i'm even the ones that still stand by not liking it they're like tone it down a little bit like hey i get yeah, it i'm sorry like, yeah, 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 it's, yeah because yeah. it's like there's a people lose their humanity on online and then they yeah. remember hey this is another person that i'm t talking about here yeah they do they just love people love chiming in online and it makes sense it's, it's a weird world like i've i've it, the internet now too is like there's so many online groups of people oh like, sure with, like there's a lot of people that may not have had friends like 20 years ago oh but yeah now they they like because i know these groups of like every friday night they all hang out over zoom and stuff what? like people do this like so let's say there's someone in seattle who's kind of lonely doesn't have any friends but there's also someone in florida they'll they'll create these little groups but are they do they hang out the same every week or it's like who's it's lonely like every, tonight no it's just... like every week is they just have a, they created a little fan base i don't know how they've all met through random little groups and stuff and next thing you know it's like every friday night that's how they hang out some people go down to pub some people do whatever and some that's... people just they all just get on zoom and, and talk and drink and that's have crazy fun. you know what's the one that and this is gonna make me sound old Cause, but I am old, so fuck it. Yeah, all these the shit, people dude. that are very I'm you're old as fucking hell. Old. I know. I'm no. I'm very old. It's fine because I look great. I mean, I look. I look. I look Wait, I'm 44. Yeah, yeah. You do look good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, come yeah. On. I wouldn't look when you go. I'm 22. <laughs> <laughs> I look great. <laughs> well, geez, so what are you saying? You're but uh, um, no, the um, the watching videos of other people play video games. Oh, blows my mind. You I know that's not exactly the same thing, but like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like that, and like, I guess. Twitch and that kind of thing. It's just really weird. It's just really weird to me. I've, know? I don't know. I, I did when that, what's the one with the horse? I don't play, horse? I don't play video games. Red Dead Redemption. Yes. Came out. When that came out, I remember Googling it and watching it. And I spent a long time watching people just. Watching other people play? Just complete the missions. What? No, because well, I'll that's, go. That's kind like, of I'll a go on YouTube, right? and, and then he's like, "I'm not gonna catch all of the. the I'm not gonna catch the mystical whatever it was." And I was like, I, "No, I spent like 40 minutes. This guy just, you know, that's crazy." Yeah, crazy. I just I, I remember because I remember being so like you, going, "That's crazy." And then I just something just sucked me in. I was like, "I don't want to play the game. I just want to see someone else." But it's not like he's playing the game in such a way that it's like he's getting killed and let me start again. He's literally completing a mission. So oh, I'm like, good at it. I mean, they, they he already knows how to do a kind of a thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to say it and it's going to sound even older, but like when I was a kid, yes, but please. when I was a kid, it was, was no missions. <laughs> <laughs> <My skin. laughs> it was a game of points. <laughs> if I'm watching someone else play a video game, it's because I'm waiting for my turn yes, and I course. hope they die shortly. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I yeah. get to play again. I'm not yeah. trying to sit there and watch them play. It's insane. But it also depends. Again, people aren't watching just two strangers play FIFA, are they? Well, I guess they probably, I don't, I don't know, know the what Twitch. they're doing. What are they doing? These they're kids. Like, these kids are playing this game. They're changing their haircuts. <laughs> changing their haircuts, swapping genders. Who knows what's happening? <laughs> this fucking all it's all gone nuts. I'm moving to Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Dude, look, people found the craziest things in entertainment, man. You know? Yeah. It's well, like that whole like the the unboxing of oh, presents. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that accesses some sort of part, part of your brain where yeah. it's like whatever you're opening the box. It's like there's like a it's a feeling oh, of gifts. That. Like people feel like that's their gift. If that makes sense, that's what I can see that. I read that somewhere. I was like, it's in the back of your brain. You, when someone's opened gifts, you're like, ooh, it's like me opening a gift. Totally. You know? Or there's a, there's another thing that I've heard with podcasts. Yeah. Which, which, oh yeah. yeah ooh, ooh, shout out the podcast. Give us five stars on. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, hold on. Actually, now that I remember, give us five stars on iTunes. <laughs> I haven't said that in years, but I went. <laughs> I don't know why, but I clicked on it the other day, and like the last two were pretty mean. <laughs> All right. So that's that's if you have iTunes, five stars or whatever, and leave a little funny thing. Say Louis Katz is old. <laughs> I'll take it. Looks great for his age. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. How about that? How about that? How about that? Wait, yeah, oh, oh, the thing with podcasts is that like there's an intimacy with talking over the phone. 
Mm -hmm. People don't talk on the phone anymore, right? Yeah. So then this is kind of replacing that when it's someone talking right into your ears. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's very intimate. So it's like it's like having a phone call yeah. with someone, but now they don't do that. Now they listen to this. So it's almost it's just it's just even more intimate than watching someone or something like that. It's like a, your brain can 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 create the illusion that they are there and you're kind of almost passively partic participating in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Certainly, and I much prefer listening to things, oh, yeah. you know, than watching them. And if I'm watching a podcast, it's usually a different style of podcast than what I'm listening to, you know? Really? Like, I'm listening to more of a conversational stuff. If I'm watching something, it's more of a, like, does a, does a goal of, of the pod, you know what I mean? What's that? You're, well, you, you, you listen to and watch podcasts? I put on background stuff all the time. No shit. But I, uh, I think you're the first uh, comedian I met who actually listens to podcasts. I, <laughs> no, <laughs> I feel like no one, everyone makes them and no one listens to them. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> It's a surplus, sur surplus um, marker right now. Yeah, I listen to, I listen to Tim Dillon's. Uh -huh. If like this is when I'm on a plane, I'll download Tim's. Okay, and then I'll listen to the first ten minutes of like Matt and Shane. <laughs> and okay. then, but most of the stuff I'm listening to is like it's usually like more educationally stuff. Right? Okay, then, okay. But if I was to listen to a podcast, sitting around people sitting around talking bullshitting much more enjoyable to listen to totally. whereas if it's much more of a like organized thing it's better it's better to watch to see that makes okay sense. i could see that like I'm, I'm i'm even saying like are you garbage is like an or more organized like, oh okay all right I, I didn't i just didn't know what you meant that's organized. kind of what i mean I don't that's know, what i mean know. Know. Yes. This, is, this is why i'm outside of the this is why i i do podcasts but i'm not i don't have my you, own you, you never had I, your own i've had two but oh you've had to quit them both good good that, well everyone's quitting now it's over it's done this is it final season last call at the bar my friend everyone's no one's starting new podcasts Everyone's on the way out. You think that, and then another one will blow up, and it makes everyone dream. Yeah, you know, they could, they could they could be the next one to do it. You know, yeah. yeah. Like, are you garbage? I mean, that's relatively new, right? How long? Yeah, is relatively. Years, but I feel like years? they were just they they slid in like in in the Titanic. They were the know, last the, one. The thing was falling. Away. I don't know. I've spent I spent 15 years thinking this podcast. Every big podcast. Well, it's over now. I can't get in now. It's too late. And then yeah. someone else blows up. For well, me. the Every thing time. is, you got to remember how many people were they were creating. Two podcasts was like almost like the new minimum. During like COVID, everyone started going, oh, I need more, I need more. Now everyone had two and th Oh, you think it, was, it blew up from that and now it's scaling yeah, back Yeah, I down. haven't heard of anyone start like a second pod. Maybe that's what I should do with four podcasts, right? <laughs> Get it's not the, enough. Right when it's on the way out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And somehow they all have their own distinct voice somehow. <laughs> you could get a voice modulator. Do different. Can you do different accents? Not really, no. Oh, well, never mind. No, but I, uh, what, could, what do you want me to do? Uh, like an American. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> can you no, do more than that? Or no, <laughs> not really. No, I never really, like, I can do, like, probably more caricature silly ones, almost like the South, which I, I can't do right now because I'm, like, too much in my own head about it. Okay, okay, I could okay, never okay. do it. You I could never, do a whole podcast as a character. I could do it as a character, but you're obviously like, oh, this guy's pretending to be from the South. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm there going, well, I do declare or whatever. You know, if I, uh, you, you know, that type of horn, leg horn. That's pretty much it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's great. Um, but I could never pass. I could never like in a movie, like I could never actually pretend to do an American accent. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's a shame. I, I'm needing them to do it. Can you do one? Um, an American accent? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do an Irish no. accent? Uh, hey everyone, sorry about the noise of the construction next door. There is fucking nothing I can do. But I can tell you about sheet underwear. If you're tired of boxers with fabric that gets trapped around your balls and every step you take leads to chafing and sweat and sweat. <laughs> And sweat, you need to try Sheet Underwear. Sheet has two pouches, one for your nuts and the others for your twig. <laughs> I'm more of a more of a splinter myself. Keeping stuff separated down there helps reduce the chafing and sweating and gives you extra support whether you're out on the field. <laughs> if you're on the field, guys, how often are you on the field? Or lounging on the couch, more likely, Sheet has you covered with both comfort and style. I genuinely only wear Sheet. I wear Sheet all the time. I don't separate the balls. I just wear them like regular traditional underwear, just so you know. But I do. It, they are very comfortable. I like the length. And I often have to hit up Sheet 
sales department and go, yo, I'm selling your shit. Give me more fucking underwear. Dickheads. Um, so I wear them. And I'm a legend. I've been on the Tonight Show. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, the guys in the construction next door, they go commando. They go commando. Spanish people go commando. So if you're Spanish, this probably doesn't isn't going to do anything for you. Underwear is really only a white person thing. Uh, go to sheetunderwear.com and use code Collie, C-O-L-L-I-E, to get 20% off your first order. Plus, Sheets Underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That's Sheets. That's sheetunderwear.com. Promo code Collie, C-O-L-L-I-E. Get Sheet Underwear. Show, support the show. Support your balls. <laughs> Can you do an Irish no. accent? Uh, top of the morning. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll slap you right now. <laughs> it just ends. <laughs> well, it's always, you know, in LA, it's funny. In LA, you see these ads on the street, like with the, where you, you know, the, you know, the flyers where you can pull a number off. Mm -hmm. And it's like, uh, help, help get rid of your, your accents, you know, for, so people can act and get rid of their accents so they can get more acting jobs. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, is this for actors or is the INS? putting traps out there. That's what it seems like to me. Like, you, oh, I got an accent. I got to get rid of yes. it. And then all of a sudden, your yeah. you know, immigration gets you. That's, that seems like a trick. That's interesting. I would love to do it. I would love to do some sort of acting or some sort of voice course or some shit or whatever. Yeah, I don't get know. rid of that mess. Whatever. I don't want to get rid of it, but I want to be able to turn it off if I need to. <laughs> if I'm in a pinch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I need to have to switch into a French man. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, you're pretty good. I'm a French man. Wow, I believe it. It's like all of a sudden you're French. It's oh. freaking me out. Suck love fucking blood. <laughs> <laughs> you like Very that? realistic. I think so. I love I love voices, so that's good. But yeah, all those I mean all those <laughs> all those uh you know actors from uh, England and Ireland can all do in America like some of them could do the perfect ones or like yeah you know it's kind of mind blowing actually yeah I, th I guess they I think these people just start young and really thing. The thing is maybe the, it's the TV th well no you watched American TV I'm sure growing up yeah still, I just know but I, I don't know I just never been able to do a good American accent I, and I could always do I could do Irish accents like the different regions of Ireland really which is doesn't oh, help me over here hit me with those no I, I, I want to hear it like Cork is kind of like how are you doing bye I'm from Cork how you doing bye 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 all right. Do you want to have a fucking pint? <laughs> that's how they talk. They that's talk. how they pint. They like, it's a kind of a thing, and it's like there's a real like high pitch too. And they're, holy fuck, it was fucking raining mighty last night. <laughs> I'm from Cork. Now there's probably people from Cork going, we don't sound like that. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> to me, but it sounds. I think it sounds I, perfect. I used to have a much more, but even now I have an American accent. You know. You do. Yes, according to the Irish, I have an American accent. Now you guys still think of me as some sort of fucking yeah. warlord or some, just fresh some off sort of boat. I think yeah, some war. Yeah. Just, just, just fucking. The, there's no more potatoes, and you came over here. Exactly. That's what it, that's yeah. What it yeah. Like uh, me. You hear me? You vision someone who's in black and white. Is it? Yes. Yes. yes of course. Definitely. That's yes. exactly. It. But when I go home, they're like, "Whoa, the fucking fancy man with his American accent." Don't you? Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's crazy. And I get it. It's it's it's. it's Kind of stinks if you're like from Ireland, you move and then you come back, and I'm like, hey, y'all, <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> oh, didn't remember? Didn't Madonna get a British accent for yeah, a minute? Yeah, she did. That's so yeah. embarrassing for her. The voices go all over. Or well, the best ever was uh, Alec Baldwin. This is pre murder. Uh -huh. He his his wife pretends to be Spanish. Oh yeah, and she's not at all right. She's not at all. That's she just, insane. And she did. She there was a clip of her on a morning show or something mm -hmm. and they were like cook they're making food whatever mm -hmm. and she was preparing a salad like a, a authentic and then she was like she forgot the word for cucumber she goes what is it what do you have what do you what do you call this oh yes cucumber yes she says in the middle of a thing and then like no yeah way. yeah yeah just pure hollywood what a psycho they, like that's scarier than some sort of uh, underworld pedophile ring thing going on. Is this, that, well, yeah. this psycho going on TV pretending to be Spanish for no reason yeah, at really all. Yeah, really crazy, really crazy. It's yeah, you don't you have to look for the the ones the conspiracies. There's there's things happening right in front of your face that are plenty scary. You know, you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to dig too deep. And imagine imagine that was your wife though too. Well, so, that's what I keep thinking. Like, how what's why would how are you accept that as a? I mean, I think they just like, they maybe they're both the crazy. Baldwins. Yes, I've just he's been surrounded by nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess when he's been famous that long, I, some people, I don't. Who knows, man? He's been that famous. The whole family, everyone, <laughs> it's all just who. 
the, the whole family. Aren't they? Aren't all the Baldwins on the Sheens? Aren't they all? No, together? the Sheens have been. St- but the Baldwins did a couple. Th- no Baldwin is even close to Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen and Martin Sheen are all respected actors. There's no Baldwin that's even comes close to Alec. Yeah, okay, okay. You can't okay. even name another Baldwin. All, I, I I don't know the other Baldwin so name, but I, I thought I, I assume I thought the whole Baldwins. Where part of this, like, a, I thought there was like there a was cl- backdraft. A bunch of them were in backdraft. A few of them did a couple other movies, and now they haven't oh. done shit. And what's are, are they not related to the Sheens? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting confused. I, but I thought so. they were like a Hollywood family. If they're related to the Sheens, then there's more famous Baldwin's because of the Sheens. That's okay. all it is. It's the Sheens <laughs> hooking them up. <laughs> okay, That's okay, what that okay, is. okay, okay. But uh, Sorry. but I do. I I love Alec Baldwin. I love any um actor who can do drama and comedy. To me, oh, those yeah. are the best. Like him. Randy Quaid is really good at that. John Goodman. Like, those okay. are the best. Yeah. Like, I love those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a few. Um, J.C. Riley is it? Yes. J.C. Riley. Yeah. yeah. Tom Hanks used to be good at comedy. He hasn't done it in a while, but Tom Hanks still brings some, some Yeah, when was the last time he was in a funny thing? I watched something recently where he and I turned it off. I didn't like it. Otto or something. He was trying to kill himself the whole time. I was like, ah. Oh, I didn't see that one. Nah, nah, nah. nah. there was one. Remember, I, it was kind of funny, the one where he's trapped. He's like a... Crazy foreign guy trapped in an airport. Like, I'm oh, in an yeah, airport. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I, know, I never watched that one. Too close to home. <laughs> but uh, is that even a real story? Yes, yes, that is a real story. Dude just lived in an airport for a long time. And, it, and then and then I think they finally said, all right, you can go back. And he's like, I was in the airport. Kinda, you just liked it in the airport. I, I get it. Look, yeah. there's a Buffalo Wild Wings. There's yeah. a, you know, you got everything you could ever want. Yeah, I mean, I've spent a lot. I also, I also spent a lot of time in them. So was he like showering and stuff? Yes, I think at some point they started hooking him up with some showers and stuff. They like hooked that. him up. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know if he was showering. You can shower. I mean, in New York, we can tell you can do a lot of showering in a public restroom. I don't know if you've been to the libraries here. I have not. But, no. <laughs> but yeah, you can you can take a whole bath in a public restroom if you really need to. Oh no, <laughs> sounds horrible. Yeah, it is. Oh, I have had that in the uh, one of the book bookstores there. Uh, you know, the one just north of uh, Union Square. Mm-hmm. What is it? Which Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Mm-hmm. I went in there one time and it was crazy. Yeah, because they, they they just have like a everyone no one is homeless here type of policy i guess or whatever yes you know? yeah. yes yeah again but look imagine the conversation people were having in the 60s imagine if you were known as or or, or you know 100 years ago if you were known as the local smelly guy yeah how then, smelly you'd have to be that's how a good point absolute yes. smelly you're right there's got to be a point where you're just your nose goes numb nearly right I guess if everyone's smelly, no one's smelly, you know, if you want to get deep about it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> if everyone's smelly, no one's smelly. But I mean, I guess I guess you're like, you go, you go swim in the river, that's going to take some of the stink off of you, assuming the river isn't full of shit from all the, everyone shitting in it. I don't, yeah. you know, I don't know. I think... I don't think any of us swam in there after like 1905 or something, though, have they? <laughs> I, I think it got pretty bad. We're talking the older, smellier days. We're not talking yeah, 1905. We're I'm talking, talking like, 1905. I think, okay. it was, I think it was pretty bad even till recently. I think it's... It's you have to get rid of you got need uh plumbing and they didn't, no more no, horses. They didn't and le- that's when it gets nicer, you know. Yes, okay. But the yeah, the horses, sure. But plumbing wasn't mandatory in new buildings in New York until like nineteen thirty or something. Are you so, serious? Or nineteen forty. Yeah, it was like not a crazy long time ago. They were building serious? new houses. Yeah, I, pr- I promise you. I just did a I just did like a walking tour of Did you do the tenement museum or something? I did the um, West Village. Cool, um, how was it? It was great. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, yeah. My girlfriend follows this guy, some Instagram account, and he does tours every now and again, so she just hooked him up, and it was pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, give me some more effects. Give me something else. Um, there's a historical landmark in the West Village, and it's a it's a lamp, right? There's no inf- there's no information as to why it's a hor- historical landmark, by the way. Somehow it got lost in the thing, but there's... 3,700 historical landmarks in New York, which means you can't renovate them or demolish them unless it's unsafe. Okay. But there's one building, big, huge building, and uh, uh, randomly on the building, there's a lamp that sticks out. It's like old school lamp, uh-huh. like it's almost like something from Jack the Ripper. Uh-huh. Um, there's no information on it, but it is a historical landmark. But the building that it's attached to is not. So they want, they demolished the building, built a new building, and then they had to put that back on. This is all recently. They had to put no it back way. on. So like the whole building's new, but that one big is just sticking out oh, there. Oh, that's cool. I it's love shit of, like that. Yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think I'll do another one because he does some other places around the place. It's you know? crazy how much how much history is here. And this yeah, is and you're cool. walking past it every day, just never yeah. picking it up, you know? Yeah, every day. I try to read those little plaques and learn something, but half yeah. the time I'm like, ah, uh, it's kind of boring. This is know. my theory about, this. well, this is my problem right now that I'm dealing with in mm-hmm. terms of like learning stuff is that i often forget it all 
Yes. So sure. should I just stop? Because <laughs> I read books and then two years later, I can't tell you a fucking sentence from it. So it's like, what was the point? Should I just stop? Should I stop trying to learn more stuff? Because it's just going to fall out anyway, you know? Are you, I mean, you drink a lot? Yeah. That could be the problem. No. <laughs> no. I think it was my ancestors drinking has created a, 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 a generational a, a very, alcoholism. Yeah, <laughs> it's very smooth and gray brain. Yes. Um, maybe that's the thing, but I do find it just tough to retain the information. Yeah. I mean, so what's the point? What's the point? I'm just going to give up learning stuff. I, no, but I think it's in there somewhere. You just can't remember. You can't. It's, it's in there. Or is it like food? You know what I mean? Is it like food? You just have to keep learning. You just take it in and shit it out? Yeah. <laughs> and look, sh sh you might need to eat again, but that's just the way it is. But just because you like, all right, so you don't remember, you barely remembered that one fact kind of about from this long tour you mm -hmm. went on. Yeah. But maybe some of the other facts are like, you just have a sense of like, ah, oh, uh, some things happen here. You know, and you know, uh, you know hey, some things happen. You know, it's things allowed happen. me to go. I'm, I'm sure there's a thing yeah. here. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I've just, just I've opened up my eyes yeah, to the thing. But yeah. the the walking history shit. To, New York's so full of insane history. You know yeah, I mean? it's pretty crazy. It's re it's really cool. Like, uh, yeah, I've I've taken a few of those tours and like uh, I've done the Tenement Museum. Have you guys done? No, the I haven't done that. No, it's but interesting. It's, where is that Lower East Side? Or uh, yeah, it's like it's like. <laughs> I, I made fun a little bit because like it's a museum of the tenement, the tenement times. Like, it's like uh, basically the museum's like museums like imagine a time when white people were poor. <laughs> it's like whoa, <laughs> wow, I can't imagine. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> this was before, <laughs> and because it, it's really like I know there's still people living like this in New York, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Like I, in Queens, I know that they're just not yeah. living that way in Manhattan because they can't afford to anymore. Yeah, of course. You know? But yeah. um, but it is it is interesting and it is a different time and it, and it is it is interesting that the Lower East Side was like that. I mean, basically, like all these factories are were there. You know, these are that's where factories were on yeah. the island. It's yeah. like I've taken a couple tours where I learned some cool stuff. Like here's this is my favorite one. Is like I I asked this. I was said why why is New York? How did New York become such a big city? Like why this city? And apparently, it's because it's an island. Because the whole thing is ports. Yeah. So it's such a good place for trade because you could just take dock ships all around it. Okay. So, so yeah. that's why it became this giant, this crazy city. Nice. So, there, so, so, so I retained that. That was it. That's I've not been bad. A, that was like, so I remember one. So you just got to remember one fact from like a three hour tour, a whole book. And remember just, one thing. Just waiting, the rest of it, waiting to bring it up at any Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been waiting for this moment. That's, sitting there. That's why it's in there. <laughs> just for this. And you're going to steal my little fact <laughs> and then you're going to pass that on the lamp. See that fact. lamp? It's there. There is a lamp. I, I wish I could tell you what street it was on. Yeah, but there was some interesting stuff to learn and the way it was. And they, you know, they show you photos of when things used to be. You know, you, I, I, I have a tendency to be like, ah, this is the way it was, always was, you know? And then yeah. they're like, no, that was like 10 years ago. They fucking. But isn't it, I mean, coming from like. Uh, from, you know, like Washington Square Park used to be like a car park. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, where yeah, where yeah. you could actually uh, drive through it and all that stuff. Yeah. That stuff, that's Sick. interesting. But also it's, um, there's so few cities in America that actually have uh, history and history intact mm. and most cities are kind of new here and so and some of the history gets like you know i just don't think there's that many like historical cities here yeah new york is just such an iconic fucking place and it's great and it's dirty and it's disgusting <laughs> it's great yeah. yeah it's wonderful yeah <laughs> yeah 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 but i also understand the all ah move out to fucking somewhere like albany and just looking oh i, I can never just let that. myself just that uh, just just watch the clock <laughs> oh god jesus that sounds the sad so, oh no, so i can sad. do that so sad no. so cold and sad yeah and then just just chain restaurants on a friday night with the family that's <laughs> it just let why not no. texas roadhouse every friday no i mean <laughs> oh. I, I, it doesn't that doesn't sound bad. But you know, my just, little suburban life. No, no. Me and I my get, fat wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, she sounds nice. Sound, yeah, she's great. <laughs> she's great. You ever met a fucking fat wife that's not great? No. <laughs> they're all great. It's the skinnies you gotta be fucking. They're the ones that are gonna leave you. Make no. <laughs> these are the facts. Suburban America. Not bad. I guess some sort of shit generic car. Kia. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, uh, to me, it's just, um, because I'm I'm from the West Coast. I'm from LA. So if I'm gonna, you are. if I'm going to move like outside of a major city, I think it would be on the West Coast, just because it's not as snowy and prettier. Yeah, you know? so I, to me, I, that's it. California. Yeah. I don't know if if I, if I could go out to California. It seems like all the cities are kind of ran shitty, right? Don't believe the hype, dude. No. I've been to I've been to I mean I San Diego's I, beautiful. San Diego's beautiful, and things like 
I know all this crazy shit happens in San Francisco. I'm watching the clips, but also mm. I was just in San Francisco. Yeah. And you can't top that. There are very few cities that beautiful in the world. Yeah. In the world, ever. I'd say, yeah. I think it's the most beautiful city in America. Easy. Really? Even with all that shit going on, it's still gorgeous. Maybe. Yeah. 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 I definitely saw, I was just there for the first time recently. It was certainly beautiful. A lot of walking. My legs were sore. Yeah. I don't know if I saw it and that blew my fucking mind like that, though. Well, I like, for where, me, for you. Where'd was, you go? What did you play a club? I did a run of different, like, sort of, like, brewery shows type of thing you know okay so I, I you really got to get into this i mean just, i was in the city for one of the days that the was a views, lot of fun. the hills the, the water you don't like yeah no the redwoods I, I, all that stuff. you know what the weather wasn't fantastic so maybe i didn't get to see it like that there you go it was a lot of yeah but i'm not gonna like say no i'm not disagreeing with you i'm just saying what do you say most beautiful city or just most beautiful places you i think the most beautiful city in america wow i would say is san francisco yes interesting yeah you could yeah maybe you're right yeah Cause it's uh, it's it's a beautiful. The architecture is beautiful, but the setting is unbelievable. And all those hills, they're painting the ass to walk up. But then that means you have these gorgeous views, yeah. like the whole bay, and it's like yeah. really kind of phenomenal. Yeah, and the, and the, and the architecture is beautiful too. They have all these Victor old Victorian uh, houses. That is true. It's really nice. Yeah, it is very unique. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going back. I'm yeah. on. Where am I doing? Tea roosters. Where's that? Rooster tea feathers. Rooster tea feathers. It's in Sunnyvale. Not as nice as San Francisco. Well, that's where I'm going soon. So, well, here's the thing about Sunnyvale that's also cool about oh, great about, about California. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not fucking with you. You think it's like oh, this is a weird little suburb outside of San Jose, but um, Sunnyvale. If, do you like Indian food at all? Yeah, dude, the Indian food there off the hook. Oh, really? It's so good, and there's there's so much different good Indian food. Like you can't even get enough all over the place. Plus. There's this place I went there called Pints of Joy. It's an Indian ice cream shop. Ooh. And they're open till midnight, so you can hit it up after the shows. Oh, nice. I'm telling you, go there. They have they have like uh they have, dude, the flavors are like you never tasted before. Indian ice cream? I'm telling you, it's delicious. <laughs> Just when you thought I couldn't shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Jesus you, Christ. it's delicious. Oh! <laughs> it's delicious. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Get into it. Yeah, just a spac spicy lactose intolerant mess. Are you lactose intolerant? Well, I don't know. They have dairy free. Do they? Yes. Ooh, interesting. I'm telling you. No, I'll go, go old school. I'd rather I'd rather have the shits. I don't have like I, I just have diarrhea and live yeah, it up. I know, I know, I know. It's very chicky to worry about that stuff, isn't it? You know, <laughs> yeah. it feels a little definitely feels a little feminine. Don't be a bitch and have diarrhea. That like is man. kind of how I feel, to be honest. <laughs> I do it's one of these old school kind of uh, manly things, but I do have You have your whole bit is about that. Yeah, my whole bit of that <laughs> women are weak. But the funny thing is, it's also like I do notice that if I have like a latte late at, in the evening or something, I will fucking probably have the shits, you know? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, folks. <laughs> Smooth, like the diarrhea. It's very <laughs> <laughs> I have diarrhea a lot though. I need, I'm, I must figure that out because I talk to other people and they're like, no, not, not a yeah, lot. Yeah, something's wrong. I'm like, I thought it was like, no, I think it's common. I always go by my, I'm common. No, yeah, yeah, that's the thing is like, I think those like allergy, like when everyone's like, oh, I'm gluten intolerant, I'm intolerant, and you make fun of them and you're like, but I have diarrhea all the time. And that's normal. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, something's I've got wrong. shooting pains in yeah. my stomach all day. My tongue is, <laughs> is a weird color. <laughs> oh man, I just watched this documentary on. Uh, Netflix or some shit. It was like just a little three part series about this cult, and mm -hmm. it was pretty sick. Someone pretty cool. Else told me about this. Is this the cult where it's all hot women? No. Oh, uh, someone told me about that one. But Never my mind. God, <laughs> <laughs> what you're not handing them a fucking resume? You are plying? What are we doing? Now? <laughs> I've been trying to write a bit about cults and how it seems kind of awesome for a long time. I know. To I, be running it, not to be in one. You want yes, to be running it? Yeah, to be running it. I had a cult bit, never quite got taken off now the people, ground. Mine, people don't like it. Mine was like. Yeah, my theory was like that cults are always great until the guy just starts fucking everyone. It's always like they do offer a lot and then it's as soon as... That's why I started the cult. And <laughs> I mean, what do you want from me? Well, the thing is, is if this, if a guy starts a cult, right? Uh -huh. And then he, before they discover it's a cult and he just fucking dies of an aneurysm or something, the cult will continue on in their legacy and years later we have fucking religion, I guess, right? Isn't yes, yes. I mean, the idea is that like a it starts as a cult that can end up a religion, but you have to be. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the. Well, I try to do. Oh, Wait, that's, did, that was my joke. A, that was my joke about it. Was like, what? So, what's the real difference between a cult and a religion? Yeah, uh, a, a cult kills like cults are responsible for hundreds of deaths, and and religions are responsible for millions. Yeah. That's the difference. <laughs> that is that was the old joke, and no one liked it. But uh, no, I like mine was just as about how they're always like. 
the, the cult leader turns around and goes, hey man, Tom, I'm really sorry. I just got off the phone with God and I had to fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? It's like, I like, my hands are tied, dude. It's God. I need to fuck your wife. My hands are tied. And soon her hands will be tied. Yes. But I'm sorry. <laughs> dude, Tom, look, I love you. I, you know I hate sex, but God told me. And also your 15-year-old daughter. Get her in here too, Tom. Do you love God, Tom? Let me fuck all your fucking loved ones. Um <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, but the cult stuff is interesting. I know. I think the second time we've talked about this, I, I talked about it earlier. Oh yeah, but this one, mm -hmm. this cult one, this is like a new age one, okay. more new, and it's apparently um, there's more cults now than ever before because of the internet. Like everyone finds people, so they're all on Zoom. They're all Zoom cults. There's over a thousand. No way. There's like over a thousand online cults in America right now, apparently. So one of the episodes, that, that, uh, that's the information I got from a thing called Twin Flames, mm -hmm. where Twin Flames is apparently just like, you know, soulmate type of thing. So people well, meet. What is it? It's a soulmate. Okay. It's called your twin flame. As, as, as in like, when you meet this person, you're immediately like, blown away. You go, okay. this is the love of my life. We're meant to be together. Okay. So some couple started this twin flame website, but they're all con artists. It's crazy, crazy shit, you know? Wow. But it's always the layer too of like, they have the cult part, but then they also have like the multi- level marketing bullshit where it's also like a pyramid scheme you know like they, wow. they they intertwine it all it's fucking so exhausting but my thing is everyone's always like oh look at these fucking idiots falling for the cult and i'm like yeah but look how good this cult leader is like look how good they are at doing that thing what being manipulative and, and yeah taking it's advantage like, of it, people it, yeah <laughs> they're really like it that's a lot of work it's a lot of man hours <laughs> like they're not lazy there's no such thing as like a lazy cult leader who just happened to fall into it <laughs> they're like really and they got to be charming the perfect they got to be like vindictive just enough they got to really yeah, know yeah. <clears throat> i think it's like a sociopath yeah you gotta be a sociopath yeah, yeah. you have to have yeah because I've, I've heard some of them are crazy charismatic but yeah. they feel nothing for you. Yeah. But I don't understand that. Wouldn't you find someone who feels nothing? Wouldn't you be pushed away by them? Wouldn't you be? Wouldn't most people be like gross? Because sometimes they are charismatic. You've heard this before, yeah, right? Yeah, or am yeah. I making that up? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Yeah, yeah, that's like their whole thing is like how good they are. But yeah. wouldn't you be not attracted by how like evil they are? Wouldn't the evilness come through a little bit? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're able because they can choose the emotion. They're like. They're probably very good at choosing this is the right time to like smile, which is unnatural, but it makes it better for us or something. Whoa. I don't know. Oh, so everything's so calculated because they, they feel nothing. Yeah, they feel nothing that they can actually, they like hyper. Wow. So they're just dialed in like, I know exactly what to do. Yeah, right they know when to smile. Yeah, they know how to laugh wow, or whatever. That's maybe, crazy. maybe. I don't know. But I like this girl theory. got the God complex. This uh -huh. one, they came up with fake names for each other. You know, they just, it, it was like a spiritual meditation group almost. Okay. And then she was like, we don't use regular names. We use we don't use earth names. We have your so your name is like fucking dog warrior or whatever. Like and she's it. like, and my name is Mother God. You know, how convenient everyone Whoa. got names. Everyone got like kind of shit names, like Serenity. And like she's like, no, I'm Mother God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And she was so she's a female cult leader. This is Come the, on. this is the one that I heard of though. Yeah. I think this is the one my friend was telling me about. No, it wasn't. And that. she didn't she didn't oh, there wrangle is. in hot women? She did actually have a couple of hot women. This is the women. one yeah, my friend was telling yeah, me about. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, was you're right. I guess now looking back, there's a couple of Chick, there's one chick who's particularly good looking and then the rest of them are like younger I guess they're younger they just weren't hot enough for you they were well just I just didn't think of it like that now that you think of like I didn't that wasn't the whole I was more interested in the overall cult thing rather than their looks okay <laughs> oh, I'm sorry sorry I don't know who you've been hanging out with <laughs> you're into the doctrine that, remind me. you're into the doctrine and I just want to hear he, uh, fantasize about fucking all of them you're that's what I want to yes about. exactly <laughs> And whereas I'm like, really, I'm a purist with the cult. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't care about what they look like. Although but being a female cult leader is pretty sick. Pretty I cool. think so. It's pretty impressive. But Wait, is this the, so my friend tell me this one is like, she's actually like bipolar. And sometimes yes. she would, so this, is, so this is what he told me. It was like, sometimes she would like, she would be manic and saying like she's God. Yeah. And then she would come out of it and be like, hey guys, I'm not God. I was, uh, I'm just losing it. And then they'd be like, no, no, you're God. Yeah. That's yeah. what he said. That's, is, that, is that what it was? I don't know. It certainly happened at one point where someone was like, are you sure you're God? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there was like, especially towards the end when she was dying. Or whatever, because um, because they were all like they didn't believe in any medicine. They they believed like all the good medicine was like 
not allowed, you know, to be regulated. So they were like filtering out mercury or, or some sort of silvery bullshit they were filtering from. They had like weird chemistry. Well, the mercury will kill you. Yeah, it's the, yeah, that's what happened. This woman, no she, ends, she ends up turning silver. No and way. And anorexic. And the, the funny thing is they- She turned silver? Yeah, she literally turned silver. It's fucking crazy. Like that sounds kind of godlike I, to me. I, in fairness, yeah. <laughs> and then she died. And then they didn't, they, they didn't want to give her body to the, so they drove her body all around America or something crazy. It was like, just so this nuts. Is nuts. They, <laughs> wow. wow. I know. And, but the, here's the thing about that cult. It never ended. Like no one, the thing about this particular cult one was that because she died, they were always like, nah, you don't get it. You know, whereas most cult, le- people in cults, they learn their, because they get that, they get out. The cult ends before they get a chance to, the cult ends and ex- get, gets exposed, you know, while the person's alive. Oh. But because this bitch died, all these people that are there were like, they're still in that mode yeah, of Yeah, but like, she died. She's not God. She's dead. No, she, that was her earth body died, but she was to return to the gods or some shit like that, you know? Whoa. Oh, she was never immortal. No, it was just, this was just like whatever form. This was her human this form. This was her human form, but she's actually, you know. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, yeah, so all these people are still, but they're all wacky, wacky, wacky fucks, you know? Maybe this will be the new Scientology, you know? Could be. I don't think it's going to grow anymore. But oh. yeah, the Scientology is a good example of the. Yeah, know. man. What's That's his name? I shouldn't uh, know. L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah. yeah. Is there, are there Scientologists in Ireland? I'm sure there are. There is. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I remember when they showed up, kind really? of. And I remember I was planning on going in to the building one time. See what it's like, and I was yeah. like, I'll, I'll do a vlog or something. Uh-huh. This was like 2008. I literally didn't even know how to do it. And yeah. I was like, to my friends, I was like, I, I should go in and just like fuck with them or something. And one of my friends was just like, it's not worth <laughs> the risk. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, yeah, I probably would get hooked up. Yeah, I'll yeah. go in going, ha, ha, ha. And that's, then that's what a Mark Marin had a joke about that back in the day because there's they had that book Dianetics where it's okay. supposed to have all the answers. They used to have advertised for it on TV. I remember this. And he's like, I kind of want to read it and see what they say, but like, I don't know at what point they get you. Like, he's like, like, I don't, yeah, I just don't even yeah. want to read it. You know, I don't yeah, want yeah. to get them in there and then, you know, you can't get them out. Uh, no thanks. You know? Yeah, yeah. That was so funny. It'd be like, like, go, like, in, in, infiltrating the clan or something like that and you're like fuck it and then like halfway through the first meeting you go yeah it kind of makes sense or the, or the, <laughs> yeah, or, I guess <laughs> or the snacks are great like I'm, I just, <laughs> yeah. the food is good I don't know what to that, say the food, that, food is good I'm not racist but this food is excellent I'll you know? tell you what for, for a bunch of whiteies <laughs> that is some good that is the best pulled pork I've ever had <laughs> that's like it's something out of curb right? yeah, I can let's see go it. fuck this place up and then like <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> gotta keep the recipes though. I don't know we, what. Um, I mean, uh, we, did you grow up religious? I guess the no, kind of like Irish religious, which is like kind of like if it's more like a chore, but no one like really truly like believes and worships and stuff. You know what I mean? Well, how did the Irish go from being like so Catholic to them being so liberal within like a generation? Like, how did that happen? Rape. Really, Jesus. Mostly, <laughs> <laughs> mostly rape and money. Money, the money also. You you forget about God pretty fast when you got a fucking chunk of change in your pocket. You know, wow. Like you're poor because all you have is hope and God and that type of shit. But when you got money, no one gives a fuck. Do you think it's <clears throat> because they don't need that for hope, or because they, or like, or they just I, better have I, more better education, or like? Or, I, but this, I, I think there's a. I thought it was. It's like all over the world, the more advanced or whatever your society is, the less religious they become just sort of naturally because like you need less from the universe. That's why Catholic Church has like, who's the current Pope? He's South American, right? I I don't know. I think he's... Maybe. Maybe the last one was South American, but the point was like... They, they're, they're not still gonna, growing they're, in Latin They're not going to have yeah. any more like um, then that they won't have an American or a European pope again because like that's like that might the market's like saturated so they're going to like poorer places you know Crazy. this is the theory you know huh. but in in Ireland when I grew up nineties the all of the Catholic abuse scandal had already come out people were really wealthy too the nineties was like a great time they, oh yes yeah, so, so it's an economic boom plus all the scandals coming out and that's like people like yeah i think this. it was just a like nice combination the scandals were huge like you know it was like well, it's, it's weird how those <coughs> scandals came here but people are still kind of okay with it why didn't that happen in italy are they still as catholic in italy i don't know i don't I, i'm, I'm they i don't ireland was particularly whatever maybe italy was just had a different kind of system you know I don't know. The thing about the Catholic Church, when like in my parents' age, mm-hmm. 
or it's certainly my grandparents' age, sorry, uh, you kind of had to, se- it was the norm to send one of your kids to the church. Like you, you had eight kids. One of them had to be a nun or a priest. Really? That was kind of just the the norms. Like you, which one of your kids is going to be the priest? Kinda. The gay one. The, that's what they did. They kind of yes. sent out the kind of weird little get queer one. <laughs> I'm serious, right? I'm yeah, yeah, no, seriously. Yeah. If you were a little queer, <laughs> yeah, as, <laughs> I mean, that with all respect, uh, they would send you in there. Or if there was anything kind of a little bit that could, they considered odd about you, You're like so anyone that was kind of a little autistic, Aspergery, they were all thrown in there. Jesus. They just threw anyone that was kind of whatever. To, and then if you were a woman or a nun, and you would just have, if you got like pregnant outside of wedlock, they would send you. To the church and things like that. That seems like the like obviously this person likes to fuck. Yeah. Well, I guess they're trying to stop him from fucking. They're trying it's to kind stop of rude. Him from fuck. You know? Well, they, know. well like, actually, they would never. It would. It was such shame on the family that they would send them to the church, and then they would like pretty much work in a prison. The churches had Jesus. their own prisons. Oh, that's where they have. Oh, so the thing with the, the prisons, and they would have the baby and like just yeah. bury the baby. Or they would either kill the that? baby or sell the baby to America. Apparently, there's a lot of Americans, but they were killing a lot of babies, dude. This was a wild Jesus. one. The, 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 Google this, folks, if you want to have some nice reading. It, um, I believe it's called just Google "baby shallow grave Galway" in Ireland. Jesus. I believe it was in Tuam. Maybe I'm wrong, but recently. And when I say recently, in the last like eight years, they discovered someone was discovered a bunch of bones, and they they it turns out it was it was almost like a swimming pool type of thing, just full of dead babies. Where they would Jesus. so all these women would have all these women would have babies out of wedlock or whatever, uh-huh. and then they would just kill the babies and throw them in the thing. The Catholic Church, and then they, that person would then be sent to like prison almost, where they went allowed leave. They'd have to work in these laundries called the that's Ma- crazy the Mag I- the Magdalene. I think like I've Mary seen Magdalene. A movie about this. Maybe. Yeah, the Magdalene homes or something. The Magdalene sisters, the Magdalene laundries, would be called a lot of the time. Oh, because like Mary Magdalene. Have you what? Have you, have you seen this movie called? I think it's called Philomena. Was about this oh, or something. I, I think I know the name. Yeah, but I haven't seen it now. Yeah, yeah. So I've I've seen a movie about this, but I didn't know all about it. It's crazy. All these things like. But it was a common thing. Like my dad would tell you, like back in the day, there was like known like watch out for that guy. He's handsy. He's a bit of a fucking pedo. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, and like. Uh, I don't know. My dad's side of the family not religious at all. My mother's side of the family super crazy religious, you know. Really? But then again, she's like not religious because her dad was such a fucking psycho. Jesus. That it's like they used to go to mass on the weekends. So my granddad would go to mass every single day, every day mm-hmm. until he died. But then on the weekends when he'd make the kids go, he they would go to mass at like nine, and then they'd finish and they'd go home. They'd be having their breakfast, and then he would put on the the late mass on the radio. What? So they would listen to Mass twice. <laughs> Why? What's he getting out of that? It's just, I don't know. He was hellbound, dude. The guy thought he was hellbound or something. So he was just constantly trying to listen to more Corinthians. Or but like, whatever. what, like, what, what are you getting out of that at that point? I don't know. You just sort of get kind of pot, caught up in whatever it is you think. It's not in Latin, is it? No. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't think they ever did a Latin thing like that. I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't he spoke. Know. I, don't I don't know, man. I haven't. I haven't. I've been once for a wedding. I haven't been to. The, you know, I don't. I don't know what there's any of this shit. Oh, about. you haven't been to many Catholic churches, I guess. i have you know, as a tourist, like, hey, look at this. Yeah, look yeah, out. yeah. Check out. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out it, the old building. Yeah, it's yeah. another old building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell you what, we dominate. We, we great some great old buildings. Yeah, the yeah, Catholic yeah. church. It's amazing what you can do with the uh, gold pillage from the new world. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> with lies and murder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Some beautiful churches. Are there beautiful churches in Ireland too? There's a few couple yeah. of yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. They're, they're usually all over, you know, the churches. Again, that's kind of bore like it's kind of boring to me now too. I've seen so many that are just sort of like, ah, another old fucking I, church. I like more like It's crazy how quickly you'll get used to anything. Good and y- bad. Yeah. Like I lived in Brazil for a year. Oh wow. And uh when? Uh two thousand, a long time ago. When before, I was in college. before comedy? Uh yeah, right before comedy. Okay, cool. Um and it's like In what part, sorry? Real mostly. Okay. And it's weird how like tropical paradise after a while you're like, I get it. It's green there, it's blue there, <laughs> the sand's white. I get it. Enough. You know, it's like I've fucking seen it. You know what I mean? And then and then and then on the flip side, it's cra- the craziest thing about in Brazil, because they have um uh kids who are like begging for money. First it's crazy that there's kids begging for money, and then it's crazy how quickly you get used to kids begging for money. Yeah, and yeah, you're just like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. it is. Kids yeah. are begging for money, you know. Yeah. Like, and you can just—I mean, that's happening here in America. How, how, how things are things are getting bad fast, and yet we're still like, well, I guess this is just how it is now. And that's how like yeah. things creep and get really bad sometimes. Yeah, things get uh, really bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You give an inch. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. So you were in Brazil for a year. Yeah, yeah. 
was it was it was there a lot of violence what's that movie the um uh, city god, god city god whatever city yeah god, city yeah. god's great movie was that yeah. you were you living in the fa- I, no, fa- I took favelas fa- favelas to the favelas yeah <laughs> no but i went inside a, a couple of them and they're uh the they're favelas like, yeah, went sure. in there like, yeah. like like almost like on tourism or just like go to the taxi well there was um, taxi just drive me through no, or, no. Or did, well there was um with our um exchange group some of them were like tutoring kids and keep teaching kids in the in the big favela there's one that's really nice not nice you know like kind of developed like there's there's banks there's a mcdonald like it's a uh, shanty down but there's a bank there's yeah, a McDonald's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? and it's the biggest one it's called hosinha and it's right next to rio and so my friends kind of knew the way around there so i went to check it out and it really is really, um, really interesting just because, well, just first of all, it's like if you don't go in there, if you're from Rio and you, you're like not living there, for people are people that are living there are kind of sometimes embarrassed to say that they live there. And then people that don't live there are like, if you step foot inside of one, you will get murdered. Oh, that's like, a, yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. You, they, you walk yes. in there, murder. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, and you realize that people get these weird ideas of places. There's no place really like, even when, yeah, bad neighborhoods are bad neighborhoods, but like, Course. If everyone was just murdered all the time, first of all, there wouldn't be anybody because they'd all yes. be murdered. Yes, and and no one lives where they where where you can't live because yes. you have to live. You know what I mean? Well, so, do, you, do you ever see that guy bald and bankrupt? And he he's a YouTuber, but he he became, blew up because he was always like all his videos. He was like I think one of the first guys like walking around, you know, Brazil's most dangerous hood. You know these YouTuber guys, and he would walk around, but he would do it all over the world, like whatever. You can, and, you can do that. I mean, you can, especially yeah. like during just, the day with a camera, and you're walking around. I don't well, think, you. Pr- I mean, if he was smart, he probably. The thing is also there is that like the drug dealers, to what ex- to some extent, are like controlling crime, like yeah, are, yeah, are, yeah. Are, are like police. They like run. Yes, they run the shanty town. So, and I haven't been in a long time. I don't know what the story is now, and certainly sometimes it's. I'm not saying they're good, but I'm saying like. If someone robs from you, then the drug dealer finds you tell the drug dealer who the person was, and then yeah. they've they have their own system of dealing with yeah, it. You know, and it's yeah. not it's not justice, but it's like apparently there's no petty crime, you know, from random people because the the drug dealer yeah. will fucking handle you. you. But you always got the question like you when you look like a fucking tourist and oh, in yeah. these areas, yes, you gotta go. What does this guy know? Like he's obviously not just some dumb fucking tourist walking around about to get mugged. Like just like so you, you, you'd question. You go, should I mug this guy or should yeah. I not? Yes. Why don't I wait for someone else? Because this is kind of this guy's too white. He's gonna bring in a lot of <laughs> maybe trouble. He, maybe he knows something. I don't know. Brazil's pretty white too. Who knows you know? what the theory I'm sure is? You'd... Yeah, I'm not that white. Not the same. Not, <laughs> no, not this. No, not, no, not, that no, white. No, not this no, either. No, I mean, no. like yeah, there's, there's white people there, but um, yeah. uh, it's like uh, mostly not white. I would say, <laughs> and uh, and. Uh, I don't know. It was. It's also just cool because the architecture. Because you know, it's like they're just like randomly built houses on top of another. So it's yeah. almost like being like a in an M C Escher drawing. Because you're like you go, th- you you walk through a tunnel and there's all these wires there, like because they just string the electricity and like steal yeah, it. And yeah. then and then you come out the tunnel and then there's like just a a pool hall, like a in the side of a mountain. <laughs> and then you come in, you're, there's someone's house, and it's like it's just oh, crazy. Nice. It's, it was it was it was nuts. Nice. It was really been, interesting. Been all over, huh? Yeah, I've been, been all over the place. Been man. all over. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. we better wrap it up. It's, okay. It's again, that was a lot of fun, though. Yeah. Thanks I, for having I, me, man. Yeah, we should do it again. I'm, yes. I'm sorry, you ran out of time. That's but all obviously, right. everyone, go check it out. Check out this funniest comedian you've ever heard of. Second tense, past tense. What is <laughs> Just, it? None of that's right. <laughs> go to YouTube. Put in my name, Louis Katz. L O U I S K A T Z. It's called present tense. But just put in Louis Katz into YouTube. And you'll be good. And then check me out in Austin and in Sacramento and in Irvine and in uh, Colorado Springs. I'll be in all those places. Great. You're going to love. Go get some tickets. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.